Sports Video Group's Jason Dackman. We're at the Sports Graphics Forum in New York City at the Microsoft Technology Center. I'm here with Spike Shakovny. Spike, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It was fun. Spike's with ESPN. He's the direct, Senior Director of Motion Graphics uh, and had a huge hand in what was a monumental undertaking leading up to this NFL season with Monday Night Football. Um, you guys found yourselves in a position where you needed to change the open. You needed to come up with a new open for Monday Night Football. Why did you feel the need to do that, and uh, and what kind of concept did you end up coming up with? Well, the old Monday Night Football Open had um, footage in it. Uh, it had some CG footage, and it had all the great calls from over the years. And last year, when Mike Tirico uh, went over to NBC Sports, now we had Al Michaels and Mike Tirico all over the Open, and that wasn't going to work for us. They're great guys, great announcers, but again, we had to move on. So it was kind of late in the season. We had to come up with a new idea, and uh, that was tricky. But as you saw in my presentation here today, I had a spark of an idea while riding my lawnmower <laughs> about doing a red carpet premiere, trying to make, get the players out of uniforms, try and show them more of a human light. They really seem to respond to that and enjoy that and uh, try and make it like the biggest movie premiere on the planet. And so that was the genesis of the idea. Sure. You used Entourage for some inspiration, right? Yeah, so what we did was after we had the idea, we said, okay, what's out there that's been done like that already? It's great to grab creative inspiration wherever you can. So we all were big fans of Entourage, the movie and the TV show. They did a bunch of movie premieres, so we looked at that first. And then after that, we took it back and we cut some Monday Night Football stuff, some draft stuff, other stuff that we did from the ESPYs just to see if it would work for ESPN. It looked like it would, and it did, so then we took it to the NFL. They liked the idea. We took it to GMC because they're our partners in it. They liked the idea, so off we went to shoot it. Sure. Okay, so the concept is down. You guys know what you're doing. Now it's about execution. Tell me a little bit about, uh, again, you're on a very short timeline. What was the actual uh, production like, both in terms of uh, the VFX and, and that type of thing, as well as the live shoot? Well, first of all, it was probably the most fun project I'll ever get to work on uh, in my entire life. Uh, it was a big problem solving a puzzle. You had to get the players. You had to find a location. You had to figure out who was going to be in it. Uh, we had to find a day to shoot. We had to figure out how it all fit in the budget, get a new music cut. We ended up shooting. We ended up setting up for like a day and a half. We ended up shooting overnight, starting at 9 o'clock at night. Um, and then shooting to 5.30 in the morning. We went back to the hotel, we showered, then we went and we shot a bunch of green screen stuff with some players that couldn't make it to the shoot. Then the next day we did a few more green screens. We shot the GMC portion, we did the music. This was all in successful day, success days. And then, uh, and then after that, we had to stay another week and actually edit it all together, which I didn't talk about in the presentation, but that was crazy too. Because when you promise 25 people that you're gonna be in an open, they have to be in the open. And if you figure the open 60 seconds long, it's pretty tight. You're talking about fractions of seconds at yeah, that. Yeah, so, uh, so that took a while too, but it was just such a great project, and, and I appreciate you guys letting me come here and show everybody. It. Sure, absolutely, and uh, just a very cool product ended up coming out. What was the response, both from ESPN, the league, GMC, and, and fans, most importantly? Yeah, it was great. Um, again, we, we you know, it showed the players in a different light. Like, people seemed to respond to the fact that they're not just – and. and and you know, opens are all over the place, but mostly they show players in uniforms. This was a kind of way to generate some new excitement, and the response both from GMC, AMS, our, our fans, and people at ESPN was tremendous. Cool. Well, Spike, thanks so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Jason Dackman at Sports Video Group. Stay tuned to sportsvideo.org for more reports from the Sports Graphics Forum and the sports graphics industry in general.